In this video, I started out with zero dollars in his truck and spent the last four years building the farm to where it is today, only to go broke. So now I have the challenge of starting over on a brand new farm with next to no money. Will I go broke or will I make it big? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farming. Well, dang. Snow hit and it hit hard. Anyways, it's another day back out here on the farm. We've got $55,000 and actually, since we sold a few pieces of equipment, we got an extra $15,000, which I will take. We sold a uh, international tractor and a pole type corn harvester. That is now out of the farm, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to do today, but we got hit with so much snow, it is ridiculous. Look, check this out. If we go to the road, look how tall the piles of snow are around here. Look at this. So it is a good thing I went ahead and uh, made a purchase in the last episode of a brand new snowblower for my John Deere here. Look at this thing. It's a beast. So I'm hoping this should do the job of cleaning up the yard because before we even get around to uh, selling off our grain for the year, we got to get this all cleaned up. All right. I hope this thing decides it's going to start here because it is awfully cold out. Oh yeah, fire's right up. We didn't have it plugged in or anything. All right, so I've been letting the tractor warm up here for the last 20 minutes, make sure she's nice and toasty for me. Got the heat cranked up. Let's see what this new snowblower can do. Now, the only sucky thing is, is we've got duels on the tractor, which is definitely not ideal because the blower width is uh, not as much as the duels. So we're gonna be skipping over a few little parts here, but we're gonna try do it to the best of our abilities. I should probably get the snowblower going over this way. We also gotta feed the cattle here. Now they're not actually gonna be here much longer. We have a semi truck coming in the next two days or so to come get these guys. Cause uh, I told them as soon as winter hit, at least I was telling the auction mart that uh, I am no longer keeping cattle at my place. So they're gonna be leaving here shortly. And besides that, we are running low on feed. So this is probably gonna be the last time we're feeding them so we aren't going to be snow blowing the entirety of the yard just to basically where we need to get which i'm also going to have to go into the other yard there because uh that is also full of snow and i think the snow plow left a big old pile for us to try and get rid of in the driveway there so that should be fun at any rate our money situation is looking just a tad bit tight here for the end of the year we got seventy thousand dollars and we got a hundred and eighty five thousand or a hundred yeah it's hundred and eighty five thousand dollars worth of loan to pay off so our goal is to get that paid off if uh we can't do that with selling everything which i believe we should just be able to we're gonna possibly sell a piece or two of equipment that we're not really using but i don't think we'll need to do that i guess time will tell well that's the main driveway done still got to get up by the bins there that's the most important part that's where all our money's sitting right now except i have a tractor and an auger in the way that's not ideal i'll just kind of go around them here for the moment we may have to get the loader in here to try and scoop some of this out if we can there's not too much in here not a whole bunch blew in here overnight so i think we'll be all right as long as we can get in and out of here with the semi that's the most important part well that should do it for in here we just gotta take a ride over to the other farm there get the driveway cleaned out there oh yeah i was right there is a big old pile of snow right in front of our driveway here that is not ideal well let's hope this old snowblower can actually get through it look at the pile we're making here this is nuts we don't really got to get in here too much just enough so we can uh pull the good old case in here with the feed mixer on it and actually speaking of the case i gotta get that quad track in a shed and put away for the year i didn't think it was gonna snow this early but uh oh i guess it did might just see if i can get that old loader fired up there and uh move it out of the way so we can get right up by the shed I'll at least warm it up all right please start Oh, there we go. I know you're supposed to let the, these things warm up in winter, but we're just going to scooch it out of the way here real quick. Hydraulics are slow on it this morning. All right, we'll just leave that to warm up for now. There we go. Much better. Yeah, as you can see, we don't have much feed left. Well, I think that should do it for in here. We're really not going to go too crazy with uh, getting snow out of the way today. Just enough till we can uh, move in and out of where we need to be. I should have fired up the good old Mac this morning. Got it warmed up, but I didn't. So we'll see if she decides it's going to start. A little bit of a hard start there, but got it going. Although I don't think we're going to be as lucky with the auger tractor today. This thing already has a weak battery as it is, so it's probably not going to fire up. Yeah, no, I'm just getting clicking sounds here. All right, let's get the pickup truck over here. I got the booster cables on the John Deere there trying to get it fired up. I am going to try and see if the case wants to start because we got to use this to run the feed cart. This one should, though. It's got brand new batteries in it. There it goes. It's alive. 
the John Deere's alive. I'm just gonna go ahead here and try to move this auger out of the way. Well, there we go. Now that everything's out of the way here, I'm actually gonna run the wheel loader over here and we're gonna try move some of the snow out from the bins because we gotta get right in there with the auger to load the semi up. This thing ain't got no heat in it, so we gotta do this job quick before I freeze my fingers off. So we're just trying to get into these two bins here because one's got soybeans in it and one has, I believe, oats in it. So if we can just get these cleaned up, we should be in business. Well, it ain't perfect, but that'll do it. Case has been warming up for a little bit. Let's go get these cattle some feed. Actually, there's a little bit left in here. I completely forgot. So we're going to give that to them there quick and then uh, we'll get them the rest. Yeah, we really decided to cut it close on uh, feed this year. Not ideal, but we're cutting it just close enough. I mean, if we had to, we would have just went and bought some, but that wouldn't have been great either. Get a bucket of this, get a bucket of that, which is pretty much the last of it. Yeah, it's about all we have left. Just a little, little tiny bit in the corner. All right, we got some feed mixed here. I'm just going to try and see if I can wiggle this thing in the shop. I'm not sure how much room we got left. Why am I stuck inside my loader? Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. We'll be good. So I went ahead and fired up the quad track when I was getting everything loaded up here and it's now warm enough to move. So we're going to try shimmy this into the shed as well. I got the loader pretty good in there. So we should just be able to get this in there as well. I should have plowed out in front of here, but oh well. Now I know for next time. Oh, please tell me this is going to fit. I think it might. Yep. We are good. And this machine shed is pretty much packed right full. I went ahead and uh, gave the cows some bedding just before it snowed the day before. So they're good on that. They just need some feed. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow or the day after the truck comes and gets them. That would be perfect, actually. Well, there we go. Cattle are fed. I'm going to get the case in the shed. Kind of rhymes. Yeah, we're just not going to need this thing anymore this year. So in the shed it goes. I also went ahead and put the Ford in the shed because don't need it either. All right, let's try get this auger set up so we can get the grain the heck out of here and make some money. All right, so we have a small problem. This auger is just not going to work for uh, getting the grain out of these bins. It is just too long and uh, we are not going to be able to pull the truck in here and actually get them all filled up. So I got to go either rent an auger or borrow one from a neighbor, which I kind of hate to do, but I think that's what I might have to do. So I'm going to go to my uh, buddy down the road there and see if he has one kicking around that he's not using at the moment. And hopefully I can steal it for an hour or two. Well, I decided to take the pickup truck because it is much faster, but uh, I got an auger. That's the most important part. It is quite a bit shorter and it's got its own uh, motor on it. So we don't got to use a little tractor there, which is kind of nice. It's actually really cool as well is it can move itself. It's got little hydraulic motors on the wheels. You just fire this bad boy up and it can kind of go anywhere you please. Well, it sure as heck ain't going to be ideal because I can't pull a semi in here without this thing hitting it if I uh, have it down low enough. So this is this is how it's going to have to go. The situation is just not turning out to be ideal, but as long as I can get everything loaded up and get my money, that's all that matters. At any rate, the semi has been running for way longer than it should have, so it should be plenty warm for us to uh, try and get the heck out of here. I hope it doesn't get stuck. Come on, Mac. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, this trailer is just a bit higher than the average grain trailer, so uh, not exactly perfect but it will work if i try pull it off all the way to the side here there we go all right let's get this thing loaded well that took a little bit here but we got load number one let's hope we can make it all the way to the elevator i hope they got everything plowed or else uh we might be screwed roads are also a little bit icy too so we got to be careful of that but we got a lot of money sitting here oh boy this is one tight turn they did not plow this very well oh come on semi yeah, we got it. We're here at this first granary. We got $70,000. I think we might take the next load to the other one because uh, this one's not very well plowed and I just about got stuck. So we'll see what we end up with at the end of this. All right. So we're up to $134,000, which means we got roughly $64,000 for that first load here. And I believe there's two loads in that bin. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to be making some serious cash here. Now, $185,000 is not all we're going to be needing, that it's actually far from it. If I want to keep the farm over the next little while, I'm going to need to make a bit more than that. And I wouldn't mind going on a nice warm vacation this year. Haven't done that in a while. Well, I got our second load here that uh, pretty much topped us right off out of the bin, and that is all we got for soybeans here, which it actually worked out perfectly, but looks like uh, the grain yard here did not uh, get plowed, so hopefully we don't get stuck. 
it's not too deep over here so we should be all right i think we're gonna get slightly less here uh, i'm not sure on the exact price differences but i'm guessing it's gonna be slightly less it is a way shorter drive though so less diesel fuel all right we're just unloading the back half here we already unloaded the front half and we're not quite gonna break 200,000, but each side was about thirty thousand dollars which i am very happy with that's only two thousand or no four thousand dollars less than uh what we got at the last place but this place is way more accessible i just wish they would have got it plowed out for us not a whole lot of people hauling grain in today well it is the next day here and what do you know the cattle hauler is here to take away the cattle finally we're gonna get him all loaded up and i think we're gonna be getting another big check from that i got all the soybeans hauled last night i got the oats loaded up last night as well there was only about 10 thousand liters of uh, oats so just filled the back half of the trailer up about halfway and that was about it so we got to take that in i'm not going to be too much money but it'll be something at least we got the straw out of it that's what's the most important part there's deer all around the yard oh man it's going to be a day all right semi drivers just getting backed up here we're going to open up our gate there we go all right come on back well i guess let's see how much money we're going to get out of this well we got about half of them loaded up here we got 10 there's only 20 in here so he's gonna go take him to the auction mart and then wait for him to get back load the rest up and we'll see what we get well it looks like he's got the last load all ready to go here i'm just gonna shut this gate and that is all of our cattle gone all right so in the meantime here while i'm waiting to get a call back and what we got for price i am gonna go and take this trailer oats in I don't got too much but uh it's enough to go in and sell that's for sure last load of grain for the year big money big money it's only oats so probably not that much big money but a little bit at least a little bit would be nice 16 almost seventeen thousand dollars. i will take it all right so since we're not gonna be uh needing this trailer here no more not this year at least it is getting put somewhere else because it ain't going in the shed but i do want the semi in the shed though because that would be nice to keep it kind of out of the elements i suppose uh we'll see if we can just scooch it in there beside the gooseneck trailer yeah that'll work or i guess in front of the gooseneck trailer and just enough room that'll work oh don't get stuck on me now semi and in the shed you go i'm gonna see if i can start the other tractor out there i don't know if it's gonna fire up for me but hopefully it does we got her going we'll let her warm up here for a minute and we just got paid from the cattle fifty nine thousand five hundred dollars so that brings us up to two hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars i'm pretty happy with that all right this had some time to warm up here we'll get the last piece of equipment for the year in the shed actually we'll move it out of the way of the john deere in case we need to plow some snow but i'm thinking since we got a bit of money this year i may actually be able to go on vacation but who knows and i gotta return an auger real quick here all right auger returned and the farm is almost looking like the day we got here desolate yet again all right hundred and eighty five thousand dollars paid back and there's another thirty thousand dollars for fuel and other miscellaneous expenses i might have forgot about so that brings our grand total for the end of the year to fifty four thousand dollars and we're a heck of a lot further than we ever were anyways this is another year came and gone let me know down in the comments what was your favorite season of survival farming and uh your favorite episode i'd be curious to know but this is the finale of survival farming at least for fs22 hope y'all enjoyed i know i sure did thank you for all your support on this series and i'll see y'all in the next one